Harry and Meghan torn apart for royal betrayal by coronation campus outside the palace. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have come under furious attacks from some diehard royal fans ahead of the coronation of King Charles III on Saturday. So guys, as we get right into it, please, if you haven't subscribed, make sure to do so. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Prince Harry has been branded a traitor and Meghan Markle accused of causing so much trouble by furious royal fans gathering Buckingham Palace ahead of King Charles' coronation. Die-hard enthusiasts were trying to secure the best vantage point as early as the start of this week for one of the most historic events to ever involve the royal family. Tens of thousands of people are expected to line the streets in London today to chair the procession as it makes its way from Westminster Abbey on Saturday, but some royal fans camping outside Buckingham Palace have launched a blistering attack against the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. One woman told Times Radio, if Harry were to be in the olden days, they would tell him he's a traitor. You can't betray your own people. You can't betray your family. I hope he doesn't come. Another royal enthusiast looking forward to the coronation claimed Harry had degraded himself and that Meghan had changed him as a person, the man told the broadcaster, she's caused so much trouble, he's not the Harry that we used to know. And why? Because of her, the man told the British radio station. People in Britain don't like how he's changed. He's degraded himself by revealing the suffered from a frostbitten penis during his 2011 expedition to the North Pole in his best-selling memoir spare. Last month, Buckingham Palace ended weeks of speculation by announcing Harry would be making the trip from the US to the UK for the coronation of King Charles III at Westminster Abbey today Saturday. However, Meghan is not attending and will remain at home in California with the couple's two young children, Prince Archie and Princess Elizabeth. Archie's first birthday also falls on the same day as the coronation and it is thought Harry could jet back to the US shortly after the coronation to celebrate his son's special day with him. But despite Harry's attendance, they are fears he could still be booed by portions of the crowd tomorrow following damning claims made against the members of the royal family in his stellar memoir spare. Royal author Pauline McLaren believes that while there is a risk of some public hostility towards Harry, there could have been so much more if he and Meghan had attended the coronation as a power couple. The marketing professor of Royal Holloway University told the Express if they attended the coronation as a couple, they would find it very difficult because I think they are likely to be booed and jeered. There is a lot of hostile feeling in the UK, particularly since their recent comments. Harry coming to his own will dilute that because although he still runs the risk of maybe facing some hostility, um, there won't be nearly as much than if they came as a power couple, which would have attracted much more attention. The fact Meghan isn't coming would dilute that hostility. Harry coming on his own will garner more sympathy.